four news stories for you is firstly uh, african unions a summit is due to start today the summit will kick off with the meeting of foreign ministers today uh, secondly your uh, us is threatening sudanese military assistant secretary of state molly fee of the us has uh, spoken about uh, this threat uh third viewers uh, a student said to be a tigrayan died at a university arba mench university in snnpr southern nation nationalities and peoples region since last night we have been hearing conflicting accounts about her death was she killed because she spoke tigrania was she killed because of some disagreement with her boyfriend several stories are being shared we'll try to uh, inform you about this development and lastly was oromia where four agencies four forces uh, launched a joint operation against Oromo Liberation Army in Western Oromia in two zones of Oromia yesterday four agencies of four forces launched a joint operation against OLA which are the four forces we'll try to update you firstly viewers uh, we have a new story from Addis Ababa where African Union's summit is due to start today The summit is going to start with the meeting of foreign ministers. 40th conference of uh, African Union's foreign ministers will kick off in Addis Ababa today. The foreign ministers will finalize the agenda for upcoming heads of state summit due to take place after 2 days. for ministers of several African countries they have arrived in Ethiopia today they'll meet the agenda will definitely uh, will focus on security issues uh, and one mental issues uh, uh, humanitarian uh, uh, issues uh, conflicts coups as well which are happening uh, but can this meeting of african union bring about any change because just last night i told you about uh, coup in uh, guinea bissau guinea bissau mali guinea burkina faso coups uh, all over africa i would say in sudan you see what's happening there in chad military in power in eritrea uh, and in the countries as well where there are civilian rulers there are no real genuine democracies except a few countries there are a few countries in africa which are role models which are on the right track but in most countries there are controlled democracies or uh, military led governments so let's see uh, can this uh, african union summit bring about any change uh, secondly viewers uh, once again us has threatened sudanese military molly fee assistant secretary of state of the us yesterday said that the us was ready to take more actions against sudanese military in case of continuation of violence against protesters we know that so far 79 protesters have been killed in the use of force by sudanese military and more than 2000 have been injured so far So protests are going on Sudanese military is not stepping back US is threatening Sudanese military US says it could put pressure to isolate some companies run by Sudanese military Sudanese military is running companies as well it's involved in businesses it's running the whole country not in terms of just security it is heavily involved in investments in Sudan so US might to impose sanctions on these companies on uh, some sudanese uh, military officers because two days ago we saw a statement from some sudanese uh, military officials they uh, tried to put pressure upon un mission in sudan un mission is trying to facilitate a dialogue 
But Sudanese military two days ago said that the UN is just a facilitator. It should not be a mediator. It was a way of pressurizing uh, the UN's mission as well. We have seen UN officials visit Saudi Arabia. They've been holding meetings in Sudan as well. They're trying to uh, prepare an agenda with the participation of all stakeholders for a start of talks. But Sudanese military says that the UN mission is just a facilitator. After that, we saw the statement of a US State Department, which is threatening sanctions on Sudanese military. Now, thirdly, viewers, a very important news story is about uh, a student, a girl, who was studying at Arba Minch University in SNNPR. A 20-year-old girl, Tisigrida Girme uh, was her name. She was studying at the university, uh, attending bachelor's degree in hotel and tourism management. On the 31st of January, she was killed. Was she killed or did she die? But it happened inside the university. Now, we are hearing conflicting accounts about her death. Some Tigray, uh, pro Tigray activists are claiming that the girl uh, spoke Tigrinia. Uh, she was from Eddie Ramets which is in Volkayat. Her university fellows stopped her from speaking Tigrinia. So that is why she was killed because she spoke Tigrinia because she was a Tigrinia. Some others say that uh, her death uh, was due to a disagreement with her boyfriend. And uh, ethnic issue has nothing to do with this uh, uh, murder. It's not clear if it is murder or not because university uh, has released a statement as well. Arba Minch University, which says that uh, she just died a sudden death. So that is why now rumors are going around that she was killed. Some students from university, they are also sharing this rumor. Uh, regional government must start an investigation into the death of Tsegrida Germe. Did she die of a natural cause or was she killed? If she was killed, what was the reason behind her killing? The university administration, local police, regional government must to clarify what is the real cause of Segrida Girme's death. There must be a thorough investigation into her death. Otherwise, the rumors could lead to ethnic tensions. Lastly, viewers, uh, Oromia, where in Western Oromia, four forces, regional and federal, have launched an operation against some sympathizers, facilitators of Oromo Liberation Army. A statement has been issued by regional government, which has confirmed that four forces took part in this operation. Firstly, Oromia Regional Police. Secondly, Oromia Special Force. Thirdly, Ethiopian National Defense Force. Fourthly, Federal Police of Ethiopia. So, four forces took part in this operation, which happened in East Velaga and Kalam Velaga. Uh, regional government has shared some pictures. They say that several uh, sympathizers uh, of Romo Liberation Army, their facilitators and their members have been arrested. Some weapons have been recovered from them and some vehicles have also been captured. That just shows views that in Western Romania, uh, Romania regional government, uh, is uh, its forces are working in collaboration with federal forces against Romo Liberation Army. But despite these operations, we do know that in Western Romania, in Kalam, in East Valaga, there is still in Horogodoro as well. There is considerable presence of Romo Liberation Army. Um, I think for you.